Hey, this is Jill with the Rice Settlers team. And this is Tracy with the Rice Settlers team. And today we're gonna to talk about the value of having multiple offers um, when you go to sell your home. Um, I listed my home a few weeks ago. I had multiple offers and accepted a great one, which put me in the best bargaining position. So I'm gonna talk about some of the things that come up when you have multiple offers and a backup offers that you don't have to do. On this home that I took you on a tour through a few weeks ago, I only focused on the beauty of it, which is what you do when you're selling, mm -hmm. but the reality is um, there is some settling cracks in the driveway, there is a 20-year-old HVAC unit, there is a septic tank that has not been addressed since 2001, and there is a roof at the end of its lifespan over the deck, and also some mold fungus yuck in the shed on a retention pond. And on the retention <laughs> pond, yes. So, Which was all disclosed, by the way. Yes, so, so all of those items were disclosed. They were, they were all found on the inspection. But if we did not have multiple offers, I would likely have to be addressing or paying a lot of money to, you know, to at least um, compensate the buyer for having to take on those issues in the future. Mm -hmm. But due to the fact that we had another offer ready to step in, um, we were just able to say as is, and we're headed to the closing table. Why did you get multiple offers? You know, I priced it right, which is hard to do. It is hard to price. I, I think I priced a little below market. I was looking at a price between 525 and 540 is really where I thought my house would end based on the comps around us. We were in the middle of COVID-19. The state of Georgia was actually still on lockdown. We listed April 24th, but I had a deadline that I needed to be sold and closed by June 1st. Um, that I did not disclose to the buyers because I didn't want them to have that advantage. But um, I wanted to be out by June 1st to move on with the next phase of what I'm planning. So mm -hmm. we went with 525 and had multiple offers, um, all right around 525 to be honest. There was one really low one, mm -hmm. you know, and then one that was higher, but it was contingent and looking at a late June closing if they sold their home which therefore is not as valuable as someone who can close in three weeks. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you need help, you want advice, you have questions, please reach out to us. We'd be happy to give you any advice that you're looking for when you're ready to sell your house.